now on just one station. Residents living in fear. I'm afraid I can't even walk in my own development. After some unwanted animals move in. This is their feeding territory now. And do dangerous things. He grabbed his dog and took it and ate it out on the golf course. God forbid, you know, had been one of his kids. Tonight, their neighborhood nightmare. Good evening, a group of coyotes causing concern in a South Florida community. Yeah, residents say that they're frightened after seeing them attack. 7's Alex Browning live in Tamarack with the exclusive and our top story. Alex? Coyotes are wild here in Florida, Lynn, and normally they are pretty skittish when it comes to interacting with people. But folks here in this Tamarack neighborhood say this pack is bold and aggressive. The coyote comes and runs this way, grabs him by the neck, and drags him out. Feet from his back porch and within a few seconds. It's like I wasn't even there. Alan Marino's dog, Bo, was snatched and killed by a wild coyote. There's something out there that doesn't care if I'm there. And if I have something small enough where they can devour, my presence doesn't really mean much. It all happened last week inside the pines at Woodmont, one of several developments that surround the Woodmont Country Club golf course in Tamarack. The first night was the hardest because my 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 little one, my daughter, Abigail, she's she's three, so she's only slept with him at night. She slept on my chest until she fell asleep. And luckily so far, Bo has been the only pet who has been attacked by a coyote, but we talked to at least five other people who live across this thousand plus acre community who say they've had a close call with that animal. My wife is having nightmares from it. I'm afraid I can't even walk in my own development. I've stopped my, my early morning walks. The encounters are growing and so is the fear. I just was outside walking with my son and I had to have my pistol on my side because yeah. she says there's no way you're going to go out there without that thing and not be able to protect you know our, our tr uh, children. From their howl <laughs> to darts across parking lots to this close call on Sunday. I put the dog down, I look to my right, and the coyote is just sitting there watching us. I picked up the dog, and the coyote ran towards me. I went out in front by my mailbox on the street, under a street light, put the dog down, looked over towards the other side, and the coyote was sitting there. I don't want to see anything bad happen to anyone's children, and that's what I fear the most. Or for another family to say goodbye to man's best friend. Our dog, if we're trying to see him as a hero because he's alerting the whole neighborhood that there's a danger out here. And so we did reach out to the country club and the FWC. We have yet to hear back. City officials telling us they are working to bring everyone who is involved with this together to make sure they have a solution to keep this neighborhood safe. Meanwhile, wildlife experts say if you do approach or come in contact with a wild coyote, never run away, project yourself bigger than you are and make a lot of noise. Most likely they will run off. We're live in Tamarack tonight. Alex Browning, 7 News.